Hello everyone, new SEO setting is coming to SNM Bricks. I want to showcase very, very shortly. So I want to listen what you guys think about it. Tell me if this is enough because I am keeping very, very basic right now. I don't want to add like too many features like because these days SEO, SEO plugins have like tons of features that you don't need. Okay. Most of the time, like 90%, 99% of the time, you just need the basics, okay? So let's reset. I added reset as well. Why not? And we have to enable it. After we enable the feature, by the way, it shows up here. I made this like three row. <laughs> Look at that. Like it, it has like so much feature. It doesn't even fit this page anymore. I had to make three row like that. And... Let's enable the SEO feature. When we enable it, some of the post types will be enabled. Uh, just the defaults uh, for now. I think that's the way to go. Just enable the SEO feature for the default post types, like post and pages. That's it. If you add like other post types, you can, you guys can just select, save it. That's it. And and when you enable it, let's do that. It will start to show the template. Okay. And let's disable it. By the way, I like this template uh, setup. Most of the SEO features has its own uh, tag system, template system. I think it is great. We can make like static uh, names like that, static strings, text, or we can fill the title and meta desk dynamically. Okay. It can be even custom, uh, custom fields. I am working on it. Uh, I want to support custom fields as well, but I didn't add the tag here just yet. Okay, just yet. Like I have so much idea, but I just I, I'm trying to keep it simple for now <laughs> for the release. So let's save it. By the way, okay, great. And then when we enable it, these previews will show up on the uh, post list, so we can see. If it has like good proper title and meta desk and when we edit we can see the seo settings here as well so i think there is one more thing i want to add before the release and that's no index check checkbox okay i think other than that it's good so and same for the pages it will show the except like the short desk automatically it will see the uh, content of the page and just cut it will cut just 10 word 20 word something yeah except so it uses this function by the way except if you don't know this is the it only shows some uh, first couple part of the post okay it just trims down the content so if there is no content, of course, it will be empty. And by the way, it, it can fill the Bricks Builder content as well. For example, this one doesn't have any content in the editor, block editor, but it has content inside of the Bricks. So it, it can read the text fields and automatically get that fields like some part, it trims down again, uh, it shows up in the meta desk. So that's possible too. So it supports Bricks Builder. That's what I'm saying. And then let's go back to SEO features. Let's enable, of course, sitemap uh, titles like meta title, meta desk. And then, of course, it, after that, we need sitemaps. Let's save the sitemaps. Um, when you do that, usually I would recommend resaving the permalinks. Okay, if you don't, if you guys don't do that, it, it may not show the sitemap. Not this time showed. Okay, perfect. Maybe I should have showed the like it, it because sometimes uh, permalink has to like head access has to flush like permalink has to flush, and this happens when we register new post type as well. So it generates sitemaps automatically for each post type. Okay. And I think it is capped on 
maximum 100 per XML. So if it goes up, like the, if there is a thousands of posts that that's possible, it will create pagination automatically. And this is very important. So because the bots will visit these XMLs regularly, usually. Okay. And you don't want to make your website slower because of that. So bots doesn't care. They just, they just want to read. They just want to dole up. Okay. So you don't want to make those XMLs really big. Okay. And I wanted to add basic open graph. Okay. The open graph is, if you don't know, just social media card, uh, rich text, rich object, social graph. Okay. The, that, that's the term. And uh, Meta invented this and then other social media sites and other websites just accepted it, uh, just adopted it. And it is an open protocol these days. Okay. And I just want to add this only and, and enable it. Let's enable it. After we enable it, we see some kind of previews, like how, how it will look kinda on the Facebook or LinkedIn, you know, X and stuff. So I, I think I will add a couple more settings. Like for example, not all pages have cover images, not all pages have logos, not all pages have like descriptions. For them, we may need to add a site, site, site title, site description, and site cover, okay? And other than that, this is already working, by the way. So other than that, this is already uh, has basic open graph support, okay? This is not really like a SEO, set, uh, SEO feature, but all the SEO plugins has it. This is more like social media site feature honestly it, it is more like user experience thing so when you share your links on whatsapp facebook linkedin and yeah anywhere that can read check the site uh, check the cover and stuff previews so uh, open graph will work everywhere okay so that's that and of course we can reset the seo settings completely delete it if you want to start from uh, uh, scratch for some reason like i do all the time to test some stuff that's possible as well that's it these are the features and uh, tell me what you guys think and i think we will i will use this a lot i know from experience i mean, I mean these are the features we use all the time on the professional sites uh, client sites and stuff agency sites and i am thinking about some uh, nice other features but those are uh, surprise <laughs> i don't want to talk i don't want to like make uh, promises okay i don't i don't like to make promises because this is still a uh, my hobby project <laughs> it has become something really big but it is still a hobby project for me, okay? I'm just having fun. So tell me what you guys think. And by the way, you guys can already test it. I am making lots of pre-releases for other stuff as well. I'm gonna make video for them later, not yet. They are not ready. So you guys can test it. So if you find any bug, report it. Uh, it would be really, really nice. And don't forget to register on my upcoming course site okay i will create a professional course site okay pretty soon i'm on it i will start making videos about that soon as well so if you already registered it by the way don't register again no need okay see you guys on the next video thank you